Well, that easterly wind is still blowing. It's the 19th of April 2023 and it's time to get my potatoes in. And we'll do it for free. Bar from buying a few uh, one pound packs of potatoes, of course. So, in the previous video, we've got all the condors and Picasso planted in the ground. First time planting in the ground for a very long time. We normally use uh, containers and uh, we'll be using uh, that uh, tree bucket some of these square buckets 25 litres as we empty them uh, out uh, these are the compost that we find that's unscrupulously dumped by the cannabis growers got quite a few 30 litre containers i've got some 39 litres or 36 litres we'll use those first but we've got plenty of uh, found compost uh, to be going on with these are the uh, bigger bags they sit nicely on the plastic trays water from the bottom so in the barra on the top there we've got uh, some two year old leaf mould underneath is last year's homemade compost so all the ingredients that you're seeing today we were going into that uh, we've got some cocoa koi that's come off the carrots that we used to insulate them over the winter we're still harvesting them there and we've got some four year old wood chips and I'm quite pleased with those actually but I do want to save uh, some of them because I want to sift some with the uh, leaf mould to make my uh, seed compost uh, for uh, this next coming season and then we've got uh, some soil that we've got uh, from the wildflower wildlife garden there and there and then we've got the heap of homemade compost that we've taken out of uh, the uh, worm bin and that's pretty good stuff we won't have to waste much of that I always use that for the potatoes potatoes tend to break everything down and suck every nutrient out of anything you put in uh, we won't be adding anything but we will be feeding later on with some manure nettle and maybe a bit of comfrey as uh, as a feed so that's all free so no two mixes are going to be the same uh, we roughly try and do it the same but at the end uh, when we empty the potato bags it'll all get mixed together and we'll have a nice uh, mix uh, to use on top of the beds or for the potatoes uh, next year as i build up my stocks as i build up all my uh, raised beds I will need less and less of these materials but it's nice to have the soil on the left that will give the compost uh, some body, the leaf mould and the wood chips uh, for moisture retention and the homemade compost uh, for some nutrients that hopefully the potatoes will like. And I must add a little bit of the log ashes uh, this time as well. The log ashes tend to help uh, keep the wireworm away and uh, prevent scab that's my log ashes from home from clean logs so i'll just crack on and uh, loosen some of this soil up uh, i'm not gonna bother so we'll just try and get bits and bobs of everything this is very wet still because it's on top of the plastic some of the other ingredients are very dry so the barrel so that was the leaf mold and homemade compost it's the wood chips Cocoa koi that we used. To insulate everything last year. And we'll use anything else we can find. That's for free. The worms are all stuck between these little bits of cardboard separate that a little bit we 
just uh, pick all the little bits of stuff out in a previous uh, video when I took everything out the uh, compost bin I found labels bits of plastic and all sorts well worth uh, getting those out and a lot of this will be if it looks good I'll start filling the sacks I made 3,000 litres of homemade compost last year the rats have got some questioning to answer for but it'd be nice just to get rid of all this so I can get the wood chips up <clears throat> from off the pile and freshen everything up up here as well so I'm gonna get a couple of pots and uh, I'll half fill them for now in actual fact I think I'm gonna fill them I'm not gonna be adding any nutrients so I can just uh, bury the potatoes uh, at a later date but I need to get as much of this mixed up as I can today or tonight even before it gets dark so that's 78 litres in those uh, two pots roughly so what's that going to cost us seven pound if we bought it to the shop would that be a full bag of compost probably not these days as they sell it in 40 and 60 litres so it's surprising how much money you can save by doing that little bit uh, extra effort in uh, collecting some materials I haven't got any uh, well rotted manure this time so the potatoes will have to fight for it for the cells. We'll add the manure runoff later on once they're established. And so it goes on and on and on. I need to get as much done as I can because there's rain forecast the rest of the week. I make the job twice as hard. So that's 13 of the 39 litre cloth sacks filled. Start on the 30 litres now. I mustn't forget about the uh, 10 30 litre square buckets in the uh, Greenhouse uh, gravity wick guttering system. I haven't got no wicks, so, so I'm going to have to mix some and I'm going to have to cover it before the rain comes. Got to fill the others first. Please, not tonight. I'm busy. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. You want me to do another pile? It's too late. Mrs. K will be expecting me home. I'll have to try again another night. Well, I haven't made much of a hole in these. Thank goodness he says, really. Just about 12 inches from the camera, the tablet. Oh, getting closer. Hello. <laughs> oh, here we go again, see. Aren't you? Little and often. And uh, enjoy our growing spaces. So, we've got uh, 13 of the uh, 39 uh, litres. Obviously, they're not full at the moment. They will be once uh, we get cracking. There's 20 30 litre sacks there. Obviously not got quite uh, 30 litres in them. Three pots there left. That's all that woody uh, stuff. Uh, this is more like the uh, compost with the uh, perlite in. I've still got to fill those uh, 10 uh, 30 litre square pots up. Uh, we cleared the beds out uh, with the uh, bulbs. But as you can see, it soon settles. This is... Uh, three scaffold planks high ideal height uh, but I still haven't been able to find anywhere that do the scaffold pl 
planks cheap enough so we'll stick to uh, the uh, the pallet collar beds but the compass we buy will eventually break down to nothing and it proves a point here we've lost uh, at least uh, six uh, seven inches we've lost uh, six inches on that one and uh, probably four inches on that one four or five inches on that one so we've got plenty of material to get all these beds topped up these been these beds had uh, the uh, green manure and uh, we uh, chop and dropped it and uh, all we've got now is just odd bits of uh, material which uh, all our creepy crawly friends are still uh, having a go at and it won't hurt to top a few of these up we've still got that one to fill up there that we did uh, we can't top that one up because uh, the plastics dropped we've got these to fill in here We'll use some of that material that's already in there to do a bit of a mix. I'll do it in that pallet collar bed that uh, we've been doing all of my mixing in. And then I can bring it back in here. These round barrels I'll have to do for now. Round isn't good because you lose so much space. Uh, square is uh, better. So the compost we've been making now uh, ends up looking uh, like this. Uh, the potatoes do a great job on it and uh, we've been using uh, a shovel or two in, in here uh, of this just to make up but there's plenty of excellent full bodied material in there that's well broken down that can be used uh, in the mixes uh, I'm halfway down my leaf mould uh, we've got plenty of uh, plenty of material we ain't going to run short but uh, I still can't help myself when I find it, I have to pick it up. And any of the uh, virgin soil can go uh, on top of here as the potatoes show. At least I can put it here out of the way so I can get the wood chips down. And if I really have to, I'll turn one of my manure and off bins uh, into a, uh, a found compost bin again. Or one that's perhaps uh, already been uh, mixed. Get it mixed and pop it in there. As you can hear, um, the uh, football ground uh, is getting a little bit excitable. But everything you've just seen here is all for free. The containers are for free, the compost for free. Uh, we bought a few potatoes this time because uh, the uh, hard winter that we had, I did lose uh, quite a, a few of my stock. So when I saw them for a pound, uh, I think they were 10 pence each, those little seeds. Don't matter how small they are, they'll still produce a, a decent crop, even in my uh, homemade compost. So that's how I uh, grow my potatoes for free-ish. I normally save my seed, but sometimes we do like to try a new variety, or we get sent a new variety. Looks like we've scored a goal. So everything that we took uh, out of the bin is there and uh, that's all that I've actually taken out and they're more the brassica stalks uh, they just need a bit of a chop chop but if they go in the bottom of the bin that'll flatten them out nicely and we can start all over again with the uh, root balls from the uh, cannabis plants won't be long there'll be loads of rhubarb leaves to throw in as well and we can do a reveal on the uh, temporary compost bins. That's why that material is so good this time because I haven't been adding to it for quite a while now. We've uh, made these temporary bins and uh, the buckets from home and my parents with all the kitchen scraps are all in there. No point tipping those into here now. We'll uh, take each pallet collar off and see what we've got and hopefully the brassicas here will love it. Well, Jason. Colleen says so from Clive's Conundrum Garden. The wind has been really, really keen and some of these have bent over, dropped, but there's all the uh, new shoots and those are the ones that will probably end up giving me uh, all uh, the beans this time. As long as I can get enough beans to uh, save. I don't think we've got anything uh, that's actually... Uh, been pollinated but they are nice to look at and as you can see here some of them aren't the crimson 
So I need to mark those and don't save the seed from them, but you could end up with the same next time. But these seemed black fly resistant, so let's hope they will give me a crop this time before the black fly arrive. Happy gardening to you all. Till next time, my friends. Giraffe and air. This time has beaten me again.